Hello family, welcome again to this show and our video today will be discussing about uh, what we did for us to reduce our medical expenses so significantly that we ended up paying 50,000 Kenya shillings instead of uh, 150 Kenya shillings. So guys, welcome again and let's move on together and I hope by the end of this video you could have gained something concerning medical examination for the developed winners at IOM Hospital in Nairobi and wherever that you'll be watching this one in your country you know where developed winners take their medical exams from so we expect that when you receive your second notification letter there will be instructions telling you what to do after receiving your 2nl first of the thing that you need to do is to book for your medical uh, examination on the facilities that will be provided in the link so one of the facility recommended by uh, uh, US visa immigrations is IOM. So at the IOM, you are supposed to book for your medical and this medical date will be determined by the date of your interview. They will only schedule your medical examination close to the date that you will be going for your interviews. So this is what we did. The first thing that we did after receiving our first notification letter, we definitely know that we were meant to go to the United States. So we said, let's go in, do a lot of research about the whole process concerning DV lottery and the green card processing. So one of the things that we did research on was medicals. We looked at the medicals and what they require in the medical examination, especially at the IOM, hospital in Nairobi. So we looked at the vaccines that they normally require you to have or they will vaccinate you when you go there. So we decided some of these vaccines, we can get them from our local public hospitals. So we say that we booked some of the vaccines in uh, government hospitals, which were some of them were free and others were not that expensive at the government facility. So we got most of the free vaccines from the government facility. Then we also got others within the government hospitals, which we paid small amount of money. Those ones which we could not get in the government hospitals, we got them from uh, private hospitals using our insurance cover. So we took advantage of our insurance and we got many of the vaccines from private hospitals before we even received our 2NL. So that's how we saved money on vaccines using government hospitals and also private hospitals through our insurance cover. So by the time we received our second notification, we had some few vaccines which we could have, which we had not received by then. So we also went in to private hospitals. We got like two or three of the remaining ones. And those ones we could not get are the ones that we paid for at IOM hospital. We also carried our immunization records for our kids. It really saved us a lot because my wife had kept the three clinic books for the kids. So we went with the clinic books showing the immunization records from the first day of birth up to the time we were going for the interviews. So they could go through that, copy down all those uh, vaccines already given and they will give you a waiver on the same. 
so that's how we reduce these expenses in terms of vaccines the much needed uh, vaccines we had already received them those ones which were missing were the ones that we paid for uh, in IOM we had also done things like blood tests uh, syphilis gonorrhea tests we had also done uh, tuberculosis tests both uh, blood tests and skin tests immediately we received our first notification friends tuberculosis test is very mandatory if you want to move to the united states so the moment you receive your first uh, notification letter make sure that you start with tuberculosis go to any government hospital it's so cheap tell them you want to do tuberculosis test they will either tell you you do blood test or what you call a skin test whichever that they provide you can also uh, check on what they have after that you can proceed to your medical interviews knowing that you, you have ruled out tuberculosis in you because when you go there you must pay for tuberculosis x-ray or chest test then from there if you have tuberculosis it's gonna cost you uh, your visa how is it going to do it it may delay the process of you going to the interview and if you are cleared before the expiry of the fiscal regulatory year you may be called for the interview but if you not be cleared be, uh, at the end of the fiscal year you forgo your chance so that's why it's advisable that tuberculosis do it the tests in early stages before going for the uh, medical examination so what we paid for is x-ray uh, for tuberculosis we paid for other vaccines which we had not received. We also paid for physical examination for the doctor, then many others. And the other thing which is most important in this, when your x-ray is done, make sure that you request that you are given your x-ray CD. And if possible, request your physician to write you a report concerning the x-ray result on tuberculosis when you come to the united states they will not take in your cd having the x-ray they never take in anything from outside what they want is paperwork so make sure that you tell your physician to write you something about the outcome of your tuberculosis test when you come here, any kind of job or work you apply, they must require you provide tuberculosis test. So, to avoid unnecessary issues, you make sure that you get that paperwork. Because when you come here, when you test tuberculosis, either on skin or blood test, it will always come positive. So, they will force you to go in for another x-ray which is very expensive here in the united states so save coins save money when you are in your home country get the x-ray done and x-ray report written about the tuberculosis when you come here you present to your employer where you will be seeking work so after that you proceed to other uh, processes within IOM which also requires money so that's why I've said that we were family of five so we ended up paying like 50,000 there are some kids who paid 10 others 8 others 7 we we were the people who paid a lot because of the vaccines most of the vaccines for the kids we we had already given them or they had already received them then later on we paid uh, close to 50 to 60, so 50,000 plus something round, rounding off to 60,000. So instead of paying 30,000 for five people, which was totaling to about 150 Kenya shillings. So guys, please, if you know 
you have been selected you are waiting for your two and nail do what i've said in from the beginning that you can go in for the vaccines either in private hospital or government hospital and you can take advantage of your insurance cover if you have any then get all those vaccines if you have kids make sure you keep those immunization records clean and clear such that you present them during a medical examination at the IOM or whichever hospital that you would prefer to then things like blood group blood test do them before even going such that you will have all those records written down by the doctor and then you present to them it is them now to pick what they want and they will tell you this one we don't want you must have to take retake this vaccine here then you will you could have saved a lot of money in your medical examination expenses so guys those are the things that we did and i know my journey may not be the same as yours if you can you can follow our journey or you can copy one or two things from us and i hope they will assist you or they will save you some money but if you don't want to do it you can go and pay if you have some money thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting us thank you for encouraging more members i've seen new members many of them coming this week last week so keep on encouraging them let's share our videos let's always like our videos let's make comments Re uh, give us topics that you feel like uh, us to discuss and come here we share together as a family so that we get to learn from each other and i hope by the end of uh, our discussions that something you get to learn either new or something which will be clear to you which you have been hearing about so in a daily routine process we inspire we encourage we move as a group in case of anything do not fear get to reach me i always provide my number then my email address is there then we can share and we can advise each other thank you guys and may god bless you all